Hello and welcome to Archie Corner. This is episode number 13, and today we will continue with the subject of egress. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to figure out the number of exits you need from a room, area, and spaces. When do you need two exits, three exits, or four exits? Well, before I get too far, I want to let you know that in the video description, you will see the reference to the International Building Code or IBC that speak about the items I am talking about or I'm about to talk about in this video. So be sure to check out my video description for more information. The IBC notes that rooms, areas, or spaces, including mezzanines within a story or a basement, need to be provided with the number of exits or access to exits as required by the code. So what are these requirements? It is actually very easy to figure out. All you must do is look at the IBC table that talks about this, and like I said, see my video description below for more information. This table will tell you the threshold of occupants you may have in a room or area before you need a second exit. For example, if you have a room or space that is considered an A3 occupancy, and looking at the IBC table, the table states that A occupancies with one exit can have a maximum of 49 occupants. This means that if you have 50 occupants or more in an A3 area, you will need two exits. For sample sake, let's look at a typical floor plan that has a multi-tenant layout. I will place an occupancy load on each area. Most of these have just one door that provides access to that room, and that is fine for egress too because they are all under 50 occupants. However, you may notice that they are all part of an office suite. Together, these areas all exit through your open office which I show you in yellow. Once they exit into this area, you will notice that the total occupants are more than 50. Therefore, the suite as a whole will need two exits because as a suite, the suite has more than 49 people. It really is that simple. Therefore, as long as you know what the room, area, or space is being used for, and what the maximum occupant load for one exit is, then you're all set. Also, for your information, three exits or exit access doorways are required in any space with an occupant load of 501 to 1000. Four exits or exit access doorways are required in any space with an occupant load greater than a thousand. Now there are buildings that have way more occupants than this, but I'm not going to get into that. There are also special requirements for the number of exits for boiler, incinerator, and furnace rooms, refrigeration machinery rooms, refrigerated spaces, and daycares, but I'm not going to get into those either. But most other rooms, spaces, and areas are figured out the way it is shown here. And like I said, it really is that simple. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. However, I imagine that some of you out there may be wondering, how do you calculate occupancy loads or how occupancy groups work? If so, no worries. Check out these videos which might provide more information. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button. Well, it's time to say goodbye. For now, this is Archie Corner, signing out.